Hello friends and welcome to our channel HK Talks. Viewers, uh, first of all, I am so sorry uh, for the gap between our today's video with the previous video. Uh, but yeah, I am sure afterwards I will be sharing videos on a weekly basis. Viewers, our today's video is going to be special uh, for those who are running farms, for those who are running poultry farms, for those who are running broiler farms. No clue, we are talking about their feed. We are talking about the process of feed formulation. So let's uh, first talk about the feed formulation. What is the process of feed formulation? Feed formulation is the process of quantifying the amount of uh, various ingredients uh, that need to be combined to form a single uh, mixture or diet, which in, uh, indeed uh, prepares and uh, which indeed provides uh, various ingredients for a bird. For the effective use of feed, we should divide the feed into various phases uh, considering the age of uh, birds. Pre starter, starter, and finisher. Pre starter phase was discussed in our previous video, and uh, those who have not uh, watched that, you can click the i button or you can find the link uh, in description. So today we will be talking about the uh, starter phase, which is the second phase. So not wasting the time and going to the screen of computer where we will be discussing the ingredients, uh, where we will be uh, discussing and talking about the CP level and uh, energy provided by them and we will be uh, having calculation. Weavers, let me clear that the ingredients we are using in our formula are easily and locally available, which seems to be a good point. First, we are talking about the sources of protein and energy to be used in our formula. For protein, we are using soybean meal groundnut cake and fish meal whereas for energy we are using maize oil and molasses as maize is concerned it also provides protein but it is used as a source of energy as well soybean meal groundnut cake and fish meal also give us a good level of energy. Let's first talk about the sources of protein. For protein, we first use soybean meal. Soybean meal contains 48% of protein. In our formula, we will be using 19%, which indeed will give us 9.12% protein. Second one is groundnut cake. Groundnut cake contains 42% of protein. Here we are using 19%, which will give us 7.98% protein. The third one is fish meal. Fish meal contains 45% protein and here we use 4% of fish meal which will give us 1.8% protein. In the last but not the least one is maize. Maize contains 10% protein. Here we use 33% which indeed will give us 3.3% protein. As I considered that maize is used as a source of energy but it also provides protein. And now, 
energy sources. For energy sources, you first have maize. One kilogram of maize actually gives us 3000 kilocalorie of metabolizable energy. Here, we use 33%, which will give us 99,000 kilocalorie of metabolizable energy. Second one is oil. Oil actually provides 9000 kilocalorie of metabolizable energy per kilogram. And here, we will be using 8%, which will give us 72,000 kilocalorie of metabolizable energy. Third one is molasses. Molasses gives us 2900 kilocalorie of metabolizable energy per kilogram. Here we will be using 7%. 7% molasses will give us 20,300 kilocalorie of metabolizable energy. Now, the sources of protein, which also will give us a good level of energy. First is soybean meal. Soybean meal gives us 2900 kilocalorie of metabolizable energy per kilogram. Here we have 19%. So, if we calculate 19%, it will give us 55,000 and 100 kilocalorie of metabolizable energy. Second one is groundnut cake. Groundnut cake provides 2800 kilocalorie of metabolizable energy per kilogram. Here we have 19%. 19% if we do the calculation it gives us 53,200 kilocalorie of metabolizable energy. In the last but not the least one is fish meal. Fish meal gives us 2900 kilocalorie of metabolizable energy per kilogram. Here we have 4% of fish meal. So if we do the calculation, it will provide 11,000 and 600 kilocalorie of metabolizable energy. At the end of calculation, I would like to tell you that this formula will give us 311,200 kilocalorie of metabolizable energy per 100 kilogram of the PEED and it will provide 22.2% of CP or crude protein. Which is the demand of birds or chicks at the starter pairs? Finally, the sources of protein and energy cover 90% of the formula and rest of the 10% will be given to minerals, vitamins, dicalcium phosphate, limestone, enzyme, toxin binder, and lever tonic. So thank you guys for staying with us and for more purple and informative videos, keep watching our channel.